Go get the Beastly Bodybuilding ebook in the description right now, my man. Yo, what's good as King Kai? Out of all the influences in the manosphere, nothing is more prominent than the red pill. And just like your report card, nothing is perfect. So in today's video, I wanted to dissect this belief and I wanted to see like, why I actually believe overdosing on this is going to be a very bad thing for you personally because the thing is it's a very it's, it's a very tight-knit community but the thing is it teaches a lot of things that are not applicable to the regular average guy which is likely what you are okay and the thing is I want to establish something I did learn a lot from the red pill from my for myself when I was a lot younger and I applied those lessons into my everyday life Honestly, if I didn't, I'd probably be married with kids, working some job I hate, trying to feed my family. Again, there's nothing wrong with that, but if that's not just for me, personally. But if I didn't learn the things that I did, then I would have fell in love with the first girl that, that came around, right? But there are a, a bunch of red pill influencers who are misleading regular dudes, and they don't really want to talk about this kind of stuff. Like They, they don't want to break their image of being that alpha red pill guy, okay? So first things first, the red pill... It's obviously mostly about women at this point, right? It originally, I believe it's supposed to be just becoming aware of what you see around you because, as you know, the red pill originates from the Matrix. And once you take the red pill, you see things that you wouldn't otherwise. And that's what I believe the red pill was. But it's been coined and morphed into a completely, a complete woman dating strategy or whatever, right? The problem with this is that these red pill YouTubers... What they like to do is they like to promote getting the bag and like getting your money and like becoming more wealthy, right? But none of them really talk about becoming wealthy and they just instead talk about women. That's all they talk about, right? And they say, don't obsess about women. But then tomorrow, they upload a video saying, never text this to women or she'll like, you, you'll smash in 24 hours if you do this. It's like, th 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 that completely... That completely goes against what you just taught us yesterday, right? But again, guys aren't going to think like that because they don't understand that they're being programmed to only think about women. And the thing is, Red Pill takes advantage of your lust and uses it against you to hook your attention. And that's what the Red Pill YouTubers are doing. Go on any channel and they, they talk about female nature over and over and over again after specifically stating not to obsess over female nature. That's the problem with this. So they say don't obsess over this and then they make tons of female content and what does that do it makes you it keeps you thinking about red pill because they say make sure you take your red pills every single day basically making you come back take your red pills every single day and then it's like female nature video 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 right and then you become a misogynist a woman hater because you believe that women are like whores or something like that because they keep saying that and I've said this in a previous video, I need you to be objective about the person who is giving you the message, and that includes me, okay? So, for example, like, these guys talk about, like, women, right? They talk about, like, oh, don't ever chase a woman, don't ever put her on a pedestal, yada yada. But I need you to understand that a lot of these guys are simps too. But they don't want to act like it, because if they do, that's going to shatter their perception of being the leader of their community. You have to, Dude, a lot of these guys get curved. Like, okay, you know, I'm going to put myself on the chopping block, okay? You think I don't get curved? You think I don't get this completely, like, shut down? Really? Okay, for example, there are times where I used to hit up girls on Instagram, right? Desperately trying to get some kind of attention. And then if she did respond, which I didn't expect her to, she would be all I thought about. So the only thing I, I, all day, I'm like, oh my gosh, she responded. Oh, I gotta text her back. And I, I gotta get her, I gotta get her, I gotta get her. Let me, let me use that red pill knowledge and try to get her. Guess what happened? Ghosted. Ghosted. I get ghosted. Because, like, she's, like, see that I'm being obsessive. And like, let's say there was another girl that I was talking to last year, right? I was talking to last year, I was into her, and then I got obsessive. And then I got curved, and then she got a boyfriend. Hey, it is what it is. And that's tough. I, got, <laughs> I get curved too. But a lot of these guys don't really talk about that because they want to be like, man, I'm alpha, I'm, I'm cold. As a matter of fact, if you guys know who Steph is cold is, he's a red pill YouTuber and he's a really young guy. I'm going to touch on him being young later, right? But he's a really young guy and he talks about like becoming red pill and like getting um, into the gym and like improving yourself, right? But if you analyze his channel, the videos that talk about fitness and mindset don't get nearly as many views as the, as the videos he's talking about women, okay? So that's why he starts to double down on that kind of stuff, right? This dude, remember, be objective, he used to have a girlfriend that cheated on him with his best friend. His girl got dug out by his homeboy, right? And then he's gonna go and say that, oh, Women are whores, women are this, they're gonna cheat on yada yada. Can, can y'all not see the correlation here? 
He's obviously traumatized, but he's not going to talk about that because he needs to be the strong alpha leader. Like, he's going to say all this stuff and then people like you are going to absorb it and then live by it, which is an issue. I said in the beginning, I've taken things out and I've applied it to my life, but I cannot live 100% by this philosophy because you become too extreme, you become too close-minded to other perceptions of reality, and then you like stop growing. I ironically, like you think you're growing, but you stop growing by becoming this and that only. This applies to self-improvement too. So like, if, you, if you're all about self-improvement, you can't really grow because you're so cut off from everything else. So like I said, a lot of these guys are younger people and they're teaching you some things that you think that you need to learn, but I need you to understand this. You don't learn from listening to a bunch of douchebags on YouTube. You learn from going out there and experiencing things. That's how you learn. That's the best teacher. But a lot of guys are too afraid to do that, and they sit on YouTube and they talk about like, oh man, female nature is this. Like, what's the point of dating ass men? They're all whores. They're all sluts. They're just gonna, they're just gonna divorce you, take your money. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you have never had a girlfriend in your life. How are you gonna tell me that all girls are whores? I believe I've been cheated on once. I believe. Like, the thing is, I can't confirm it because I, I never got confirmation. But based off of her actions. I can kind of get an idea that I probably got cheated on, right? But other than that, I've had pretty decent relationships. So it's like, how are you going to tell me that all women are whores? I haven't, I haven't had to deal with that yet. But I, I mean, let, let me, okay, let me be fair. Like, okay, there are people that I went on dates with that were, they weren't high quality women. All right, I'm just going to say that, right? But the people that I've actually been, like, connected to, then it was, it was fine. It just, it just ended for its own reasons. But most of these guys don't have that experience. So they're going to take what they say online, absorb it, and then just, oh, this is gospel. They're like, I have to, I have to, this is how it goes. Like, you, you, you don't know that. You, you're turning yourself into a misogynist, hating women in your room at your computer desk. Like, you're, you're, you're just sitting here just bashing girls for no reason. And then when you, like, like miraculously get in contact with women in real life, you're going to start acting like you do online, and then you get curved again, and then you turn even more in seldom, which is only feeding into your bias that women are whores, because you got curved. But you don't have the self-awareness that to, to understand that you just consume too much garbage, and your mind is becoming something that it shouldn't be. Take lessons away from it, but don't live by it, my guy. So let's say, for example, let's say sales, for example. I used to work in uh, real estate, and I was um, door knocking, right? That is extremely humbling. If, if you ever no knocked on doors, that's ex an extremely humbling experience, right? But those experiences of getting the doors slammed in my face, telling me like to F off, to get, get off my property, no, 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 no answers, whatever, that translated into my training. And that's why I have no issues approaching people in my gym, okay? Like, most people don't want to do it because they're scared, but I'm like, dude, I literally had the door slammed in my face. I don't care if a, if, a, if someone on, like, the, the bicep curl machine tells me no. You think I care? No, 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 I don't. And that's just experience. So you need experiences in, like, life to actually come to a, a reasonable conclusion. Take what they say and be like, okay, maybe, but confirm it for yourself. Trust but verify. You understand what I mean? Now, another problem with the, with the red pill is that they talk about like success and high value men hbm that acronym gets thrown around a, a lot by the way and then a lot of younger guys walking around calling themselves high value men but they don't have a job but like, that doesn't make any sense to me like you, you 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 can't just like talk yourself into high value right and that's the same thing with confidence people just say oh just be a confident man and like guys walk around i'm confident i'm confident i'm alpha uh, uh, uh. no you're not if you have to ex if, if you have to exclaim that to people you're not alpha you're not high value you're not confident I don't walk around saying I'm confident. I just feel like I am now. Of course, I'm not going to act like I'm perfect because there are plenty of times I just feel down about myself. But on average, I'm usually smiling and I usually like feel good about myself, right? But that is that is a byproduct of experiences, you know, collected together. But the Red Pill talks about success and it plants this unrealistic expectation into younger guys. And what does that do? It makes them even more bitter because the, the expectation is so high. So they see like this content of women saying, oh, if you make any less than $200,000 a year, I don't want you. And the guys are like, damn, how am I supposed to do that? And then they become more angry. They become more angry and resentful towards women and other people because 
they can't meet those expectations, which aren't even really, they don't even exist, bro. Like, I hardly, hardly, hardly ever hear girls say you need to make more than 100 gram in real life. Hardly. Like, like the dates I've been on, the girls I talk to, like the people I meet in the gym, I hardly hear that. Hardly. But then, like, you see it all over the place on the internet, and that's how you think that women think in general. And they call them, they call them hypergamists, say, like, oh, oh, they only want the top 2% of men. Like, bro, have you even spoken to a woman before? That is so uncommon. Uh, it's, it's, it's not nearly, it doesn't happen nearly as often as you think. And then they plant this, this idea that success is a million dollars in the bank, liquid, Armani suits, Lamborghinis. Like, you see people like, like that Andrew Tate guy. Talking about, oh, like, you need to have this, this, this. He's in a Lambo. Dude, how, dude, how many guys walk around in Lambos? What? How, how many guys just, like, just, just chill on the, on the, on the bins? That doesn't, that's, that, that, dude, come on now. That's, like, that's not very, that doesn't happen that often. So, like, why do you beat yourself up for not reaching these standards, which aren't even, like, realistic for you in the first place? Are they possible? Yeah. If you want to go for them, go ahead. But don't be mad if you don't have that right now. If you were, like, in your 20s, you probably don't have this. Those people are anomalies. Like, I'm not hating on them. If they got success, congratulations. But they're trying to make you feel bad. They talk bad about broker guys when broke guys gave them their life. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, again, analyze, bro. Analyze this. They say, like, oh, if you're broke, then you ain't this, you ain't that. But the same guys that you're talking to that, that, call, that you're calling broke, they gave you money. They sub to your channel. They liked your videos. They got you where you are, and they become so full of themselves that they forget that that they used to be there too. Like, don't beat yourself up because like you don't have the same level of success that you you believe exists, right? And then um, one more thing is that they the, the the word simp gets overused. You know what simp means? Simp means suckers, idolize, and mediocre pussy, mediocre pussy. There you go. The thing is, they talk about, like, simping in any sense. Like, if you do anything that's, like, decent, like, like decent as a human being, you're a simp. As in, like, you hold open the door, like, you get in an exclusive relationship, like, you, you give someone a compliment. Like, what, when did this become, like, bad? When was this a bad thing to do? And then guys, like, walk around, like, thinking that, oh, if I act like a, a nice person, then I'm, I'm a simp. I can't do that because then my guys are gonna look at me crazy. That, that, that's just... Dude, it is so toxic to overdose on this ideology because then you believe that the world is like black and white or red and blue in this case, right? And you believe that this is all there is when that's not the case whatsoever. Stop over consuming this content. Like it's really not gonna help you. Again, I am not like hating on the red pill. I'm just analyzing what I'm seeing, okay? I'm not hating on this because I did take lessons and I applied it to my life. I want you to do the same thing. Do not take one person's word as gospel. They're just a random guy on the internet. You don't know what they do outside of the video. What the f Like, now that I'm thinking about it, this random guy popped up on YouTube. I'm talking about myself too, by the way. This random guy popped up on YouTube, said some stuff, and then you're going to just say, I'm going to listen to everything you say. Wow. Oh my God, you're a god. Dude, you don't know this person. You don't know me. So, like, yes, if you feel like you resonate with what the person is saying, then go ahead and do what, like, like then listen to what they're saying. Like, it's, it is wise of you to take advice from other people. But do not take a single person's entire word as gospel and say, you must do everything I'm saying or you're going to fail. That's cult-like mentality. That's, that, that's cult-like completely. And I'm, I'm not doing cults over here. I think the whole cult thing is corny, by the way. I was like, I'm, well, I got a cult over here. Yeah, like, cult, I'm a cult leader. Ah! That's corny to me. I don't want you to, f to just listen to everything I tell you. That's weird. Because like a, a, a man doesn't just follow people. Like you're gonna listen and say, okay, I like what you say here, but I don't like this one. So I'm gonna take this out, put this in, and apply it to my life. Bruce Lee once said, like, you, you absorb what is useful, discard what's not, and make completely what is your own. Like, what, yeah, do that. Take a little bit of red pill, take a little bit of, I guess, black pill. I don't, don't do that. I hate black pill. Like, take a little bit of red pill, take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit from that guy, a little bit from that philosopher, that martial artist, that, that whatever, and apply it and make your own life. Okay? This, this content should be empowering you, not belittling you. Give me an idea of what you believe or how you feel about these red pills, okay? 
This is your Sensei King Kai. Join my Discord server in the description. Like the video and subscribe to my channel. Alright, deuces.